I'm Sir Tap Tap, and will you look at that 60 frames per second? You know, I, I used to always turn off 60 FPS if I didn't need it, quote unquote, because I mean, it makes the video larger, it uses more CPU. But thanks to my patrons, thanks to people that have financially supported me, I have a great CPU. I have a Ryzen 3950X. Couple quirks I'm not super happy about, but what I am super happy about is um, 32 cores. 32 um, virtual cores, 16 physical cores, 32 threads, 32 threads, not cores. Um, but yeah, it's so good for recording. Doesn't even break a sweat. And um, I also got two 10 terabyte hard drives. So even if file sizes are a bit bigger, it's not a big deal. And I need to stop worrying about that because the, uh, the, the viaduct, which the child learns her first lesson, so I, I need to stop worrying about... See, things like... I'm, I'm trying to talk about five things at once. But I've been talking about how the, the presentation is different in this game. And it's kind of... It's got the fog effect. It's got this kind of overlay. Um, oh, and see, it's got the mist. Monument Valley 1 would not have done that. And I respect Monument Valley 1 for that. And I don't think it's worse. I just think... I think it's nice. I think it's nice that there's a little bit of a difference. Um, anyway, but yeah, I, big thanks to people who've supported me, and it means I don't need to worry. I don't need to worry about this stuff, and I, I really should stop worrying about this stuff, where I'm like, oh, I don't want to, um... Aw, it's cute. Um, I don't need to worry about my file sizes being too big or using too much CPU. I'm only using 8% of my CPU to record this in 60fps right now. Now it's down to 6%, so it's it's not a worry. I don't need to worry about it. And thanks so much for supporting my stuff, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm just not... I haven't gotten back into used to... Oh. Okay. I love these little Taurus things. Um, I haven't gotten really entirely used to that. To being able to do these things. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change my OBS settings so all of my setups are 60 FPS now. It's easy to be nervous when she grows so quickly. Yeah, I got a feeling she's got, she's got some tendencies in her. Often the challenges we face do not require the strength to hold on. But the strength to let go. <laughs> that actually kind of hits me a little bit. Um, I've had to let go of some toxic people in my life, and I, uh, it was rough at first, and it still kind of sucks, but hey, sometimes that's what you gotta do. I love the look. I, I, I wasn't sure how it could look different and better. Um, I'm not one to say that more graphical effects makes it necessarily look good, better. I'm not one to say that, oh, you know, flat design looks bad, so more detail means more good, but I think this looks great. Get, get on the thing, Ida. She just... There she goes. I like that she does what you'd want her to. Too many escort games make you make you do the thing, or the escort seems dumb. This is a really good example of an escort quest game. Uh-oh. Oops. Um, I think it looks really good. The use of gradients and stuff. Man, this game looks fantastic. I, I, I'm not surprised, but... I, 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 I don't know what I was expecting, but it just looks fantastic. I feel a little weird gushing over this game like two years since it came out. I can't, I, this is, I haven't gotten to this point before. I got to, I played the first two or three levels on my phone and I don't even know what happened. I just didn't, I just didn't. I have this thing um, where I just, I know I like a game and I just don't play it because I'm like, oh, I want to be in the right mood for that. I want to do know get get on it. there you go <laughs> I, I don't know it's a it's a dumb brain thing but that's how brains is sometimes I don't know all right I'm supposed to open every video with a comment qu request and I keep forgetting to do that to like five minutes in tell me tell me about your favorite art style that might be a bit of a complicated one but what do you Artistically, what do you like to see? Not necessarily in video games, but just artistically in general. 
I'm a big fan of a lot of stuff really but obviously I really like the flat color kind of stuff like this otherworldly vibes I would say surreal and otherworldly stuff is my main interest generally speaking I don't care exactly how there's so many different ways to make something surreal and unique and I like I tend to like most of them but obviously <laughs> obviously I like mining and valleys particular method a lot it's probably not a surprise to anyone I was not expecting Ida to kind of... I mean, you semi-control her. She always kind of tries to get to where um, to row is. I guess it's a bit of a vague question, but... Um, hopefully... Hopefully you'll have something to say about it. And hey, you don't have to comment on every video. I, I do like... I do love reading comments. I totally respect lurkers and all of that as well. I, um, I've been a lurker for many of my years on YouTube, but I will say, if, or if a YouTuber reads their comments, it really can make their day. It, uh, it really is great to see. I, I just recently, a lot of people have been watching my PragerU YouTube poop video, which is <laughs> such a different vibe for this game. I, I do so much different stuff on this channel, and I realize that can make it a little bit strange for people to get into. Um, but, uh, I see people have been commenting on the PragerU video that they really love my, uh, my laugh, and that's, that's been really cool to, uh, to hear because I, when I started doing these videos, when I started doing Let's Plays, I, uh, I hated my voice. I, I still occasionally feel a little weird about it, but I, it has actually helped so much doing YouTube, um, doing videos for YouTube and just talking and stuff. It's been, uh... It's really interesting. So, if you don't like your voice, honestly, what I would recommend, just record yourself talking. You don't even have to publish it anywhere necessarily, unless you want to. Um, record yourself talking about your favorite thing. The reason I think games work for me is because I love games. I have, I have a lot of stuff to say about them. Whereas, um, I really like that you you make the sacred geometry in this game. It's like a it's a counterpart to the original game, and it really does seem to save kind of the figure that you make. Um, but yeah, I, I recorded myself talking about games and stuff. I actually did podcasts very very briefly where I talked about um, talked about informatics. I talked about I forget exactly what. I think those videos were long gone from YouTube because I actually showed my face. No one no one here probably even remembers that. It was a long time ago, and I did not get a lot of views back then. But hey. There's a couple people out there. Face reveal. I, I was I was very much into the idea that you need to be a visible person. You need to have your name out there. And it's the internet is not this big scary place for people with crazy buttholes. And it's okay to show your face. And I I missed that optimism. Um, I actually got it. I acquired a stalker in the last month. Do you know that? I hope you didn't. Um... It's obviously not fun to talk about, but somebody has been stalking me and some of my friends. I always thought I always thought I would be a bigger YouTuber before that happened. I always thought, oh, oh god, they, I love these intro screens. Look at that. I want to eat it. I want to put that into like an ice cream tub and eat it. The archipelago, in which the child must find her own path. Um, yeah, I have a stalker, and they've been stalking some of my friends. And you know what? I'm a YouTube person. I I expect harassment of some degree but uh somebody going after my friends is uniquely disgusting and i, I can't believe that i uh <laughs> if you're watching this right now stalker i i don't care what you do to me just leave other people out of it sorry that's a dark topic but <laughs> but uh sometimes life isn't all that great was, oh, i love these little reveal things i love the the I've said it so many times before, but I love the tactile nature of stuff in this. <laughs> it's so cool! The, see, you would think Monument Valley is, oh, there's only so much stuff you can do in here with, with this kind of gameplay stuff, but there's so much, oh, it looks like ice cream! I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need ice cream. I shouldn't eat ice cream, but I'm gonna need it after this. Oh, you do control Ida now. I was wondering, consider the, um... Considering the, uh... 
name of the thing. Here we go. Doesn't that just look freaking delicious though? I love this art style so much. Wave, uh, waving flags and stuff. Don't you just want to lick the dirt? Don't you just want to lick it? This is such a good chill game. You know what? I think I needed this right now. Oh. So I bet this is, uh, oh, oh, it's not quite what lets us move a uh, row. Excuse me. I think I needed this piece in this moment, so I'm almost kind of glad that I did the silly thing and I was like, oh, I, um, I want to play this game later, because, especially in regards to that whole stalker ordeal, um, it feels really good. Uh, oh, um, it feels really good to have just this peacefulness right now feels very warranted and good. Whoop. Oh, look at it. It's so pretty. It's a little dock. I'm a huge sucker for these little worlds inside worlds. I think that's what I like so much about Nog and Yumi Nikki. Just these tiny, peaceful little places. I'm so, I love the diorama look so much. I guess that's why I like aquariums and vivariums and stuff so much, too. Just a tiny little self-contained world. I just love that stuff. Alright, I'm thinking of this. Oh, no, no. Not quite. So I bet. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Okay, now I press the button. I just love tiny little things. Um, not quite. So I'm gonna need to be on there, though. Aha! Hi, Mom! <laughs> also, I've said this many a time, but I'm a big fan of quote-unquote gimmick gameplay, like where every level has a new mechanic. You, you play with it just enough to get all of the good parts. I love the, I love the added touch of the, the sound. You can hear the water rustling its jimmies. Um, I love that kind of stuff in gameplay. I think Yoshi's Island, which I'm a big fan of. That's the source of my avatar, by the way. Um, I um, I think it really... Hmm. Um, it lets you explore new things, and they never, they never quite get old. And that's something I really love about Flash games. Because in Flash games, Flash games tend to be like that, where they, they take a specific idea, they add little iterations of it, and you just go through those, and you just stop doing it when there's when it's enough. You don't have to keep going and do, you know, you don't have to beat the concept to death, you just do all of the good stuff, and then you're done. Love Real playing a little flute there. And I know gimmick tends to be a naughty word, especially in video games, but um, I don't know what else to call it. It's when I say gimmick, in this context, that's what I mean. Oh, I love that. You know what's funny? Sometimes people get upset that I enjoy a game too much. Um, that's such a weird thing to me. I just noticed we're talking to different little babushka women. There's not just I, just... I thought it was like grandma or something, but no, it's like our ancestors. She has done well, but some lessons must be learned alone. Solitude brings its own perspective. You both have more to see. But yeah, I've had people complain that I like to game too much, which is so weird to me. Uh, I guess people just really buy that stupid, like, angry gamer video game thing. We're like, oh, th we have this awful thing where cynicism and, like, cruelty and harshness is considered being genuine. And, like... Oh! Okay. Um, and we're just like, oh, if, if you hate things, you're a genuine person. If you like things, that's, like, bad. That's, that's being a sellout and stuff. It's like... 
I like this kind of subverting the way that this puzzle has gone before now. I like that kind of stuff. Um, I, I tend to just play games that I think I will like, and I don't like to play stuff that I won't like for the most part. Some stuff is so bad it's good, and honestly, I don't consider that stuff bad for the most part. Um, I have a series called Cursed Content where I play games that are like really flawed or so bad they're good and stuff. Um, or stuff that's like almost amazing. We have too many stars. Let's go for more of a... Yeah, kind of a floral pattern in there. Um, what was I was trying to say. Um, I, I tend to play games that I think I will like on this channel. And if I get genuinely angry at a game, I always turn the recording off. I don't like Angry Tap Tap, and I don't want to introduce other people to Angry Tap Tap. I don't, I don't think I'm genuine when I'm angry. I'm, I usually look back on me being angry. And I'm like, no, you're being way too harsh about things. I don't. No, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm most genuine when I'm being like, <laughs> right now. I, I love that it keeps the things. Yeah, be, be maybe a little less cynical. There's definitely some bad stuff in the world, and I definitely get mad at some things, but, uh... This channel's supposed to be for cool... introducing cool stuff, and having people laugh and stuff, and I... That's kind of the point of the cursed content. It's not so much about, ha, look how bad this game is, it's just about sharing laughs, and enjoying something that's maybe not so good, but it still brings enjoyment. And, uh, to me, kind of the peak of that stuff is David Cage games. Those are very controversial games. Um, people either love them or hate them, and I'm not really exactly in either camp, or I guess you could say I'm in both. I think David K games are very flawed, but they're also technically extremely well put together. They do a lot of really cool stuff. It's just that there's usually a few parts that are just really big flaws and bug the crap out of me, and I, I could go a whole live stream nitpicking them and saying why I love them, why I hate them, and that's, that's what I do in the live stream, so if you like or if you hate David Cage games, you just want to see what that's about, check out my cursed content playlist. I played uh, Detroit Become Human and um, um, what's it called? The Origami Killer game. Heavy Rain, Heavy Rain. Um, I really like those games and I really got annoyed at them at the same time and I think I think that's valid. I think that's like a completely fine thing to enjoy but also dislike at the same time something, especially uh, something that's like, you know, trying to be artistic, trying to have a message. Um, it's getting, getting a little bit off topic. This is the end of our episode for today, but I do want to say David Cage bugs me mostly not because of I disagree with the messages he tries to put in. I think he just, he tries to be like, oh, he, he makes a game that obviously has a message, right? Obviously Detroit is trying to say something about slavery. He's trying to, it's a, you know, it's an analogy of robots versus, you know, um, underground railroad stuff. It literally, it literally is. An underground railroad allegory um, you're taking the robots to Canada right um, which is the end point of the underground railroad for some people um, which I didn't I'm not I probably did know that and I just forgot um, there are underground railroad stops that just ended in um, you know states that don't have slavery um, but the ultimate end point was Canada that didn't have slavery at all um, but anyway, the, the whole thing with that I, I get upset about that game is David Cage tried to be like, no, it's not an allegory. Like, just own up to it. Own up to the political point. It, you'll be so much better. You'll be so much more ge better if you're genuine. Um, that ticks me off about Kojima, too. Kojima, like, puts all this crap in his games, like, and, and he's like, oh, no, this isn't, this isn't about things. But this other thing is about things. Like, the whole thing with Quiet, like, dude, we know you're horny and you just want a <laughs> bikini lady in your video game. Honestly? Just own up to that. If he owned up to that, I think it would have been less weird. I think it would have been less weird if he tried to, like, be all like, oh, she, she doesn't talk and she has, like, she breathes through her skin, so I'm going to take her clothes off. It's, it's so weird, and it makes it so much more uncomfortable to me when he tries to make this big dramatic thing about it. Whereas um, something like Senra Kagura, most, something most people would probably not consider art or anything at all, it's just so genuine. It's just like, you know what? I just want to see girls like this in a video game, so that's the video game I made. It's just so honest. Is it, you know, is it as artsy as this game? No. Why am I talking about in this video game? Why in this video of all times? I don't know, but just genuine. Just be genuine. I guess that's what I'm, I've been talking about in the last couple of videos. When I was talking about 
I like to play games that I like and I like to just I, I enjoy things and I don't think that being cynical is being more genuine um, necessarily but uh, I don't know I just wanted that off my chest I guess that is Monument Valley 2 for today tomorrow looks like we're gonna go on a nice boat trip trip by the way I, I should probably recommend stuff at the end of my video huh if you hi hi Barker. Barker's like human the video is almost 20 minutes you got to stop um, if you enjoyed this game, check out Flower. A uh, fantastic game. I do have a, le a video of it. And you know something amazing about Flower? Flower is so gorgeous that I played the game in the wrong resolution and I cut off the bottom right corner of the whole thing, of the whole stream, and nobody noticed because it just, just looks that stunning and it just looked fine. <laughs> I feel like a complete idiot for doing that, but nobody <laughs> noticed. <laughs> It, it still looks great, but it bugs the crap out of me in that video, and I can't fix it. I would have to totally re-record. And maybe we will someday. It's an absolutely beautiful game. If you like Monument Valley, I think you would love Flower. I think you would uh, really want to check that out. But uh, I have a full playthrough, or you can play it on your own, of course. Um, it's on PC now as well. It's also, it was originally on PS3. It's on Vita and PS4 as well. I believe I played PS4 for the stream. But yes. We, we got a little rambly at the end there. I'm sorry if that bores you, but I know that some people really like that I kind of do. I kind of do this half, like, just talking to the audience thing and half do a let's play, like half playthrough. And I know it's a little unusual, but I guess that's what I do. And you either love it or hate it. So next time we'll be actually playing the game. So enjoy that, huh?